Hey guys, welcome back. This is Naresh. So today we will go through the part two of our Selenium interview questions and answer series. So if you have not seen that part one, I would suggest you to please go through my channel and just refer to this playlist. Under the playlist, just see that Selenium interview questions so you will get the part one. Okay, and even before going through part one and part two, I will suggest you to just go through this playlist, which is called Selenium Essentials, which actually include everything which I have posted till now for Selenium. Uh, for example, page object model, test ng, Selenium grid, and everything it's there in this. So just go through this once, practice it, and then go through these uh, interview questions and answer because that's always better before you give any interview because you know you just have to you know learn you just have to read uh, you don't have to only read the questions and answer you have to understand that in all the videos i have tell you everything in detail so that you can also have a confidence of what you are you know saying the answer to your interviewer okay so the first question is what is selenium grid so selenium you can explain that to your interviewer that selenium grid is one of the component of selenium which helps you to run the scripts on different machines okay given that there is a different configuration like different os and browsers and you can also explain them that for that you need uh, i have already explained that in my video but uh, you can let them know for that you need a selenium hub and selenium node to be installed on different machines so once you run your scripts the selenium hub will instruct the selenium uh, node and the selenium node will run the scripts on that machine so this is one of the way you can use the selenium grid and uh, if you don't have that network of machine with you you can also run the scripts or on the selenium grid using the cloud for example we have a browser stack and sauce lab uh, two of the websites which provide these services on cloud so you can use that also okay uh, okay so I have already explained that how the selenium grid works can we use Selenium Grid for performance testing? Yes, you can use that, but it is not advisable because, see, in performance testing, we do not use five or 10 machines or five or 10 instances of our uh, driver. We use hundreds, 500, thousands of threads, right? And those, if you do that using Selenium Grid, then, you know, it is not advisable. Your machine get freeze or your machine get hang. For performance tool, it's always better to use some kind of a specialized tool like Load Runner and JMeter. Okay, now advantage of uh, web driver over Selenium server, right? So what are the advantages of uh, web driver over Selenium server? If you're using Selenium web driver, you don't need a Selenium server at using, is it, it is using totally different technology. So basically it is trying to explain that what is the difference, you know, between the Selenium RC and your web driver. So second point says Selenium server provides Selenium RC functionality, which is used for Selenium 1.0. Okay, so currently in market we are using Selenium 3 and the different versions which has, uh, you know, are available for Selenium 3, but current we are using Selenium 3. In Selenium 1, we were using Selenium RC. In Selenium 2, we were using WebDriver and now there are some more features added to the WebDriver that is Selenium 3. So Selenium WebDriver makes direct call to a browser using each browser native support for automation, while Selenium RC requires Selenium server to inject JavaScript into the browser. Okay, so that is the difference that why what is the difference between web driver and server and what are the advantages of web driver? Explain how we can find the broken images in page using Selenium web driver. So guys for this I have already uh, like there's already one video basically for all the questions which I have covered there is a video for that. So you if you go to this video section and uh, you can just find here broken. Wait. Just uh, give me a moment. Still loading. All right. So if you see and find here broken, okay. So here you, I have already explained you how you can verify the broken links. The same way you can you you can uh, use for verifying the broken images in Selenium Web Driver. So just refer that video. That will give you a fair enough idea how we do that. So in short, uh, we first we find the broken images in page using Selenium Web Driver by using XPath. So we find the X, uh, we give a XPath and find all the links. So basically we get a list of all the links. Then we loop through that list and after that we click on each and every link once we click on that link after that there are two ways either we get uh, 400 or 500 as a page title so whenever you click on that link 
on the page title if you get that 400 and 500 that's mean that link is broken in case if you are not able to get the title the another way is to get the response code uh, using the http class so yes you can get a response code also like the way you do api testing i've explained you the same way you can get a response code when you click on a link and on the basis of the response code you can know that your your link is broken or not 200 is for successful 400 500 are for unsuccessful links okay how you can handle colors in web driver so basically if we want to use colors we can use get css value and we can get the colors of the web driver and then we can compare that you know before this is the color which were expected and now this is the color which we are getting of an element but i would say we normally don't use that because normally if we have to do a visual testing we use the tools like apply tools so there is a video i have here for apply tools just go through that here visual testing for all the visual testing we use the apply tools nowadays we don't you know compare the colors in selenium because basically in selenium we use for functionality testing or for regression testing okay explain how you can switch between the frames so very simple driver dot switch to dot frame so you know that in every application or most of the application we have nowadays a frame so it has a parent frame it has a child frame if you want to switch to any child frame or any frame you can just give driver dot switch to dot frame inside that frame method you can pass either the id of the frame or the name of the frame or any locator which is available in that frame okay now different exceptions so we have different exceptions in selenium one is web driver exception when my driver is not present one is no alert present exception no such window exception no such element exception so this is the most common exception when our scripts are not able to find the element timeout exception stale element reference exceptions is also sometimes we get when our dom is not properly loaded or when you know uh, my dom is expired and i need to again reload my page so i need to use stale element okay or maybe my you know my element is there was there in the dom i have located that but now i have refreshed the page my dom is has been created now so for that there's also a video for that you can just refer uh, the video related to dom and uh, then you can know that what exactly okay so you will know what exactly you know uh, what is dom and how the elements are created and how we get the exception all right so let me just move back okay so let's move forward to the next question explain using web driver how we can perform double click so double click is something which we are doing from the mouse so for you know for handling any mouse events we can use the actions class so there's already a video for that so we can give a syntax like actions actions equal to new actions we can give a driver as an instance in that and we can either create like we can just do a double click we can use the method of double click in that or we can create a series of actions here okay so maybe you can want to you know click on that then you want to move that element and do a drag and drop so you can create series of actions and then you can just give dot build dot perform there are two ways one is dot build dot perform another way is directly using perform so you can use uh, any of the way you can see in my video which i have explained how will you use Selenium to upload a file? So for uploading the file, we have already seen one of the video. We are doing it by using auto IT tool. So we have created a script in an auto IT tool. We have uh, created a compilation of that uh, script and we have used that script into our own script, our Selenium script by using a runtime class. Okay, so just refer my video so that you can get more information. Which web driver implementation is faster? So you know web driver is an interface and there's some classes which has implemented the web driver like Chrome, uh, like there's a Firefox driver, Chrome driver, but the fastest is the HTML unit driver or any headless browser because they don't have a browser. Okay, everything is happened at the backend on the HTTP. There's no browser, no UI, so they are fastest. what is the difference between get window handles and get window handles so before we go to this question what are the window handles so if you know that in one of the video i've shown you that when we are going to a nokri.com website it has opened up a main window then it's open up two three more pop-up window and those window are basically a complete window but a child window of that main window because it has minimized maximize and close window so that we can know those are separate windows so how to handle that windows so we have a command called get window handles 
and get window handles right get window handles give me a list of all the windows and get window handle will give me just a handle of that particular window where I am currently I am focusing at so get window handles give me a list I just need to loop through the list then I can do different events on that window I can get a text of the title I can get the title I can close the window whatever what I can do then so please refer my video to do all those operations how will you handle working with multiple windows in selenium so we have a command called select window through which we can use the multiple windows how you can switch back from a frame so as I explained you that uh, uh, we have a frame concept in of many of the websites so we can just do driver dot switch to the default content which will switch to your parent frame okay but if you want to switch to the child frame you can just give driver dot switch to dot frame and you can give a frame index explain how you can use recovery scenario with selenium so you know that for recovery scenario in every language there is something but in java we use and try and catch block to have a recovery scenario explain how to iterate through a option through any option so you know for iterating through options we can use uh, maybe a for loop or an enhanced for loop so i have used enhanced for loop in many of my videos so maybe you can refer to that how can you prepare a report using hybrid framework so you know in selenium we can get the report through test ng and if we are not uh, relying on test ng uh, reports we can also use some third party reports like access lt report extent report and we can even customize the report using i reporter and not even using i reporter i'll explain that in detail in my videos how we can do these custom reports how we can use extend reports so please refer those videos explain how you can debug in selenium so for debugging you know the conventional way is to just put a system.out.println put some text in every line and just see that what are lines are printing in a console the lines which are not printing you can just see the you know variables before that uh, so that you can know what is the problem but that's a conventional way the more professional ways to use a debug panel do you have to create the breakpoints and then you have to open the debug panel you have to run the scripts in the debugging mode and then you can press f5 and f6 keys to know the values of the variable so that you can know what is the problem which you are getting so please refer my video uh, for that if you want to see that in detail okay so i am here i am just giving a summary because i cannot go through you know everything in detail because for each video it take around half an hour so it's not possible that you know i spend so much of time while going through the interview questions but please refer my video if you want to know in detail okay how can you retrieve the message and alert box so you know on many website or many of the buttons when we click on many of the links which we click it gives us some kind of alert okay alert has a okay button cancel button there can be different kinds of alert it can only have a okay button also so what we need to do we have to put a syntax like alert alert equal to driver dot switch to dot alert then once we get a hold of that alert we can get a text by using alert dot get text we can store in string we can print it and we can accept the alert if we want to click on the okay button we can do alert dot accept okay so different methods of alert also which you can see in one of my video where I have uh, explained you about the alerts the last question can we use selenium to drive test on different browsers on the operating system without using selenium grid yes it is possible so in the test engine you know there's a suit.xml file there's test ng.xml file and uh, in that there's a suit tag in the suit tag we just need to provide the parameter which is called parallel equal to test so this way we can you know execute our test parallelly whatever test we have given for example i have given three tests in each test there are different class files so i can run all my tests parallelly by using uh, that parallel equal to test attribute so if you want to see just refer to my test ng uh, series where you can know all the details of the test ng so guys i have already ex uh, told you before please don't jump on this interview question without going through that video series please see those video series practice it and the, just before going to an interview as for a summary purpose only you need to look into these interview questions and answer don't, don't just go through this interview question and answer without practicing of the selenium concepts otherwise you will you know not understand Alright, so thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button, share and subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. And I will also post part 3 uh, which will come very soon. Thank you for watching.